This year, one of the foundational skills I've been trying to improve on is my communication. And so I picked up this book, We, by Robert Johnson, Understanding the Psychology of Love. And for better or worse, I was able to immediately think and apply one of these concepts to trading. And so I really wanted to share it with you guys. So let's get right into it. Many years ago, a wise friend gave me a name for human love. She called it stirring the oatmeal. She was right. Within this phrase, if we humble ourselves enough to look, it's the essence of what human love is, and it shows us the principal differences between human love and romance. Stirring oatmeal is a humble act. It's not exciting or thrilling, but it symbolizes a relatedness that brings love down to earth. It represents a willingness to share ordinary human life, to find meaning in the simple, unromantic tasks such as earning a living, living within a budget, putting out the garbage, feeding the baby in the middle of the night. To stir the oatmeal means to find the relatedness, the value, even the beauty in simple and ordinary things, not to eternally demand a cosmic drama, an entertainment, or an extraordinary intensity in everything. Like the rice holding of the Zen monks, the spinning wheel of Gandhi, the tent making of St. Paul, it represents the discovery of the sacred in the myths of the humble and ordinary. Now, I think we can apply this to trading specifically. Now, if you Google day trading on YouTube, what are you going to see? Bunch of pictures of teenagers and next to Lambos. And that's just not what this is about. Those people are just selling a dream. And that's not what we're about at Trick Trades. What we're trying to do is earning a living. We're trying to replace our daily income. And the way we do that is by following a simple strategy. We don't need to be taking five, 10, 15 trades in a day, like some of these people say, we take the approach that less is more. All you need is one to replace your daily income. And if we're bored, that means we're doing something right. The second topic I wanted to cover is living within a budget. Like I said, this is about replacing our daily incomes. It's about taking care of our loved ones while freeing up enough time to actually get to spend it with them. Now, I want you to ask yourself, how much do you need to make? And when you're thinking about that, take into account how much is freedom worth to you? Think about it. To be able to go into the markets and within an hour, pull your daily income and then go enjoy the rest of your day and spend it however you want. You can't put a price tag on that. And so I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to physically write down everything that you need. What's the bare minimum that you can get by on while going full-time trading? Now, I love this example of taking out the trash. Now, trading is really just a routine that we do to pay our bills. And if we just found the beauty and the simplicity of that, of just trading to trade well instead of just looking to make money, and truly treated our craft as something sacred, that we wanted to do it so well that we didn't care about how many other opportunities are passing us by, how many things we think we're missing, as long as we're just grounded and we're just focused on what we need to be focusing on and sticking to that strategy, we're going to be able to do this for our whole lives. So I really hope sharing this lesson helped you change your perspective on what your goals are. And I will be getting into that in my next video of what success means to you. And I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you as well. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one.